Hey, what's going on guys? It's Raj here, and uh, today we are covering um, iOS 12.3 Developer Beta 1. So let's jump right into it, shall we? Oh wait, oops, <laughs> I hit Control Center by mistake. Okay, I'm also going to toggle on here, do not disturb, obviously, so that I'm not disturbed during this video. But um, as you can see here up on the screen, um, it's developer beta 1, obviously, for 12.3, and it comes in at around almost 3 gigabytes, which is a bit insane. I mean, it looks like it would be a big update. So, um, that's basically that. And, um, before that, I now want to show you my, um, obviously, software version, which it is, as you can see there on screen, 16E227. So, um, it is relatively, I would say, um, well, it is actually the official version of iOS 12.2, um, as you can see also, again, right there, it's uh, the official version of iOS 12.2. Um, so yeah, that's basically um, what it's been so far. And also, um, by the way, for reference on iOS 12.2, um, for the official version, battery life and really in general, everything has been great, including running shortcuts like this, like Siri shortcuts. This is one I made, by the way, and um, it just kind of stuttered there. But um, it's overall, though, been uh, a really, really great experience. So um, it'll be great to see um, the betas, at least. And then obviously, as you can see there, um, just clicking the rerun button, it's working quite well. Well, I would have to say. And then here's uh, NASA's um, image of the day. If you want to see it, it'll pop up on screen. There we go. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty darn cool, I would say. And uh, I've already saved the image, so I'm just going to click cancel on that. But yes, yeah, so also if you wanted to know how many days till it, um, how many days it is till Christmas, there you have it. It's 220. 72 days um, until Christmas. So, um, yeah, that's another shortcut I made, by the way. But, yeah, so anyways, let's um, get to updating. So I'm going to um, go to the update here and install it. Um, I'm also actually going to um, bleep this part out, by the way. I also bleeped out, uh, um, obviously you noticed earlier, the serial number, just because I don't want uh, you guys to have that information. So I'm also going to bleep out my password here. So, um... Don't mind if I do here. Um, and you're going to see the bleep on screen, obviously. Now it should be gone. But yeah, you saw the bleep there on screen just because I don't want you guys to see my phone password and also my um, my uh, serial number for my phone. So yeah, those bleeps are necessary. Um, but yeah, so anyway, we have the update here being requested. Until then, I am going to open up iMovie because I edit on this thing and I obviously need to edit this video, so um, I'm going to be doing that. Okay, looks like I don't have any other important notifications. Let's just minimize iMovie for now. Actually, you know what? Let's um, save this project here. And then I'm going to create a new project, new movie. That way it's ready to go. All right, there we go. And then I'll just import the media um, after I'm done recording this video. Um, but yes, yeah, so um, it's going to install here, so I will be back once it is done um, installing. So uh, I will see you guys then. Okay guys, so we are now back on, um, obviously... Uh, iOS 12.3 developer beta 1 and as you guys will see right here um, There is no new software updates and also obviously um, there is the storage comparison if you want to go back um, obviously through the um, Video and see like basically that's the storage that I got back or lost or whatever obviously um, So yeah, that's that um, and also here um, let's see here. I also actually forgot to mention the uh, build number, actually, so let's go back here. So the build number is 16F511H. Um, so that is the new build number for this. And uh, some changes in this beta are obviously, as you can see, the new Apple TV app. So now this is completely reconfigured. Even the interface actually is um, slightly different as well than what you would be um, used to here. So as you can see here, like, the interface is just, like, extremely different here. So, it's um, actually a lot more clean, I would say, in a way. Because if you compare it to the old interface, the old interface, it was clean. But this, I would feel, is just a lot more cleaner. And it's also getting ready for Apple's um, subscription service as well. 
which at this time we don't know what the cost of it's going to be. I'd figure it'd be probably like 10 bucks a month to compete with Netflix and Hulu, but um, basically that this is what we get right now. So, I mean, it's honestly a really, really refined experience, and I honestly love it, honestly. So um, that's really just about everything we get new, and obviously the performance is there as well, as you can see. The performance is actually quite great, I would say. Um, and then, again, uh, let's run some shortcuts here and just uh, see if those work. Yep, that works. And then let's run our Christmas counter. There we go. And uh, same thing with our, um, is our iPhone charging? Because right now, obviously, it is, as you can see there in the little, um, like, icon. But um, that's what I want to sort of run to see if this shortcut is accurate. So let's see if that is the case. Um, if it's not, I'm obviously, because I'm still working on this shortcut, so I'm, having to tweak the code here and there, so that's also another um, relevant thing to talk about as well. And I'm also going to probably unplug my MacBook here just because it's already at 100%. It doesn't need to be um, plugged in all the time. But yeah, sorry by the way, this uh, shortcut takes a long time actually, so uh, we'll just have to wait on this a little bit. So um, yeah, till then, obviously I was just checking the notifications there. And then obviously this doesn't show the battery percentage because I'm connected to the dock connector, hence why this is displaying on screen for you. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm just waiting on this here to uh, finish here, the shortcut, because it usually takes like a few minutes to actually finish. So uh, I just have to wait here for a few minutes. Um, but yes, yeah, so till then I'm going to actually drag this, um, house party thing right here. There we go. And, uh, yeah, it looks like it's not accurate, so I'm going to have to, um, change it. Uh, or at least change some of the code, but, I mean, that's no big deal. That's a very easy thing to do. Um, but yeah, so anyway, though, let's also just, yeah, okay, so good, that shortcut also works. Um, so yeah, it really, anyway, that is all that's really new in this, so not really that much other apart from then, uh, the, um, new Apple TV app, there was really nothing else that really changed, like, that significantly, that, um, is really worth covering in this, and then obviously there is, um, Apple News as well, and as you can see here, down here, there's the new, pl the News Plus, um, subscription service, um, which is, um, basically here, um, at, some sort of um degree but yeah obviously you can um try it for free and all of that but i'm not going to do that just because i'm kind of not really interested in that um i'm more interested in, in apple's tv subscription service and their new um arcade as well like their new apple arcade which by the way right now it's not here obviously because um they did say in their event it was going to be like this um, little tab down there um, like where you can see like today games apps updates and search it was going to be down there as well But obviously it's not there just yet because it's launching this summer Um, but yeah, so really anyway, that is all that's new and obviously if you guys wanted to see this as well This is obviously not a watch os video, but um, i'm pretty sure I also have to update my apple watch as well or Actually, no, never mind. It's already up to date. So that's great um, but yeah, so also you get this, um, feedback app, obviously this has, um, been here for quite a while, I obviously need to sign back into it, apparently, um, but yeah, so other than that, performance, honestly, again, is rock solid, or as I would also say, really, really smooth, <laughs> but yeah, as you can see there, that's sort of a comparison side by side, because I'm kind of having it up here on face cam right now, and also, um, on screen there for you guys to see, um, but yeah, so it's pretty much one for one. I mean, it's not really that laggy, I would have to say. Um, so really at this point, this sort of whole thing is kind of uh, perfected. But yeah, anyway, I'm not going to make this video go on any longer because I already know that this is going to be a very long video. So I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be a Try Not To Laugh Challenge Part 2. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be tomorrow because today, obviously, as you can see, is... Um, March 27th, so on the 28th, I will upload the Try Not To Laugh Challenge Part 2. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.